Yep, I would have yeah. gone too, Lisa. Good decision. You're getting a bit more of the relax when you're back at the uh, threshold. It's a very good decision because it's looking tinky. Yep. Yep, he's pretty relaxed there. Head went up slightly. So we've got to keep this boundary while. We're going to hold this boundary now for a bit longer. What did you take then, Lisa? Well, the opening mouth, the muzzle, the softening. The softening, yep, the softening. great. He dropped it a little bit and he softened around his mouth. And he's chewing. It's, yes, we took, Lisa took the softening the, and softening around the mouth and then when she got back to her threshold, he started to chew and really release the bottom jaw. So this is progress, slow, but this is progress. And for him, this is progress because he's generally running a track around that mm. river. Okay, so what Lisa's saying right now is generally he's running a track around that yard with any proximity to people, so this is definitely an improvement for Sting. I reckon we should trial a step forward and a new boundary. What do you think, Lisa? Yeah, I'll go up to Yeah, just one step. Got a slight, but he didn't. That's only slight. Yeah, take that. Let's keep trialling that, that new boundary. This is obviously going to be his reaction when we're establishing a new boundary. Hey, you didn't get it. You didn't get the head. That's good, but you got a bit more tension. There's tension still there. Exactly. Oh no, you've rewarded right. I was meaning when you're coming forward. Can you just call what you're taking? Yep. Basically, he's actually very loose in his bottom lip. Loosen, so Lisa's focusing in on the looseness on the bottom lip. Relax nostril, Ben. What did you reckon? Very much so relaxed. Now, ears, head. Yep. Hello. Even though there's a hey, you. At your threshold, you just got a little drop of the head too. Yeah. So that's a control factor. He's getting more relaxed. He control. He can control you. Go forward. Lisa's is holding that step. She's ask, She's wanting something other than just the ears back. I take the eye blink, Lisa. Yeah. Okay, what Lisa's saying, why she held it then, she could see that his whole body weight shifted and she felt he was thinking about going off, so she held it till she got a real relaxed action. Mm. Where he, he sort of thought wasn't behind him where to go, it was more to You've got a cock leg too. Yep, plus the head dip, plus so you got, you got, we've got a number of relaxed things: the he, neck, uh, the slight head, ears, eyes, lip, and cock leg. Yep. What do we just reward? Ooh, oh, ooh, no, bit of right. dust. Bit of, of whirly whirly. Yeah. Oh, but you know what's great? He got a little fright, and he's gone straight back to relax actions. You're about four feet from your original threshold now, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, we took the head I down. Exactly. What Lisa's saying, which we agree with because we've done it with my horse, Sakima, is even though his head dropped to switch off a fly, it was still a head drop. We want to shape that behaviour even if it occurs naturally we're shaping it. So we're holding the existing boundary we're still getting the head 
slightly moving upwards when Lisa takes that boundary. So we're going to keep at that boundary, Lisa, until we get three or four times where he doesn't raise his head. Yep. That was good. We didn't get a rise when you came forward. Yep, and he's just dropped it. We've gone back. Oh yep. yes, I can even see it. I don't know if the video can pick it up. That lot, bottom lip is definitely way down. So we're going to take another half step this approach. Yep, we've just done it and got... You step yeah. forward. Yeah, mm. that was... Uh, yeah, I would have taken that too because it wasn't the same head up Discomfort. Yeah. So we so we took that because even though the head went up, it's more a balance issue. Lisa felt because she still had lots of other signs of relaxation of lips, eyes. So currently we're four point five feet from the threshold. In moving our boundary forward. See how much more relaxed he is when you're back at... Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Head went up. Next time when you go to the five foot mark, mm -hmm. when you reward the relaxation can you move right back to the original threshold because what we want is the horse enjoy the retreat so we've got to make the retreat long enough so he gets true enjoyment and then we as you're doing holding it for 15 seconds so Lisa's now at five feet now she's going right back to her original threshold and see the head drop okay, he's, so in, relaxed he is. he's yeah. enjoying that retreat that's what we want Sting, you're doing very well. I think you could start on, on a walk forward to your five feet mark, Lisa. Lisa's now at the five foot mark. We're probably, there we go. how far do you all reckon where Lisa's threshold is from Sting? I'd have said 20 feet. Yeah. So as you can see with the Brumby, we've had to stay, start way out. I'll just zoom out so they can actually get a, okay, and you can probably see Lisa's feet. Yep. And this is what happens, Lisa, once he gets comfortable with the new boundaries, it gets more rapid yep. until you, you trial a new boundary and then you go back and then it gets rapid again. So you, you're responding brilliantly. You're doing a very good job. You're still using the five foot marker, are you? Absolutely. <coughs> I think you're getting such a good one. I'd, I'd come in 5.5 <coughs> now. Okay. Another step. Pop fly. Keep going to your. Keep going to. That. All right. Up. Good point, good point. Boy. 
Okay, we're going to call it quits there, Lisa. Let's end end it there because you got two step, you got front and back moving forward. Well done, Sting.